Hey guys, EVP Man here. Now more and more of our laptops and tablets, matter of fact, all our devices are coming with USB-C ports and lack HDMI ports. And that becomes a critical issue for all of us who are working from home, going to school from home, or running your business from home. When you wanna expand monitors, but you have no traditional HDMI port to do so. So today we're gonna to take a look at this product from Pluggable. Uh, this is a docking station that uses as its primary input a USB-C cable. More importantly, it has a series of uh, ports as well as in the back here, it has a splitter that's gonna allow you to take that one USB-C cable and then project on two 4K monitors. You heard that right. The significance of this is that not only is it gonna give you two monitors, but this also will support like the uh, new MacBook Pros that use the M1 chipset that have limitations as to how many screens can be displayed at the same time. So literally, I have this connected to my MacBook Pro and I have two additional monitors, including the LCD screen of the laptop itself. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now we're talking about the UD6950H, which is a USB-C uh, docking station that supports two uh, 4K displays. Now, this has a series of ports, right? It has five USB 3.0 ports, audio in, audio out, has in front SD and micro SD ports, and then both HDMI and display ports for output, depending on which one you're gonna use. Remember, you're limited to two. It's very sleek, very compact, and literally, it almost disappears in your setup. So if we take a look at the docking station, you can see what I'm talking about here. So in the very front, you have a on LED, you have three USB 3.0 ports, which are gonna be super fast. You have your headphone jack, your mic here, and then you have your SD and micro SD here. Uh, on the back here you have, and we'll flip this around, we have two outputs, right? Display one and display two, and you have your choice between HDMI or display port in the back, and then you have some additional USB ports as well. You then also then have your, uh, this is your pass-through cable, but it does more than just pass-through for video, it also does power. So it's a 100 watt power that's gonna be powering your laptop, uh, whatever device you're connecting to it, as at the same time it's taking the video image. And then you have your input here from power. You do have gigabit in the back as well. So you have gigabit ethernet that again is gonna allow you to be wired um, if you're not already wireless. Now one of the most challenging things about working from home, going to school from home, or running your business from home, especially if you're using a brand new laptop, is the fact that you may not have a HDMI port. You may just have USB-C. So for example, right here we have a MacBook Pro with an M1 chipset. This one only has two, only two USB-C ports. Here I have a Lenovo, right? So this is a newer Lenovo laptop carbon. This one only has two USB-C ports on one side that you can see right there, and then it has one more on this side, and that's it. There's no HDMI ports. So how do you get a setup like this, where as you can see here, I have the monitor on the laptop, the screen on the laptop, this 40 inch screen that you see here from Minnelson, and then you have this portable screen from Minnelson as well. Uh, this actually happens to be a touch screen. Um, all of them running at the same time coming from the Mac, and you heard that right. They're all coming from this Mac right here. So if I move the mouse around, let me go ahead and move the mouse over. I'm just gonna go over from screen to screen. Here's the mouse right here, very in the top. And you can see that the mouse pointer right there. And just to show you that that's the mouse pointer, I'm gonna move this around. Here I have it over here now, and I can move this around. And if I continue to move this way, now I'm on this small display, and you're gonna see me move this mouse over left to right as well. Now all of these are operating again through that center hub. That hub has enormous connectivity. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be moving the content from this screen to the larger screen so we can see um, all the connectivity that we have. Now one of the things we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this, this display right here, this screen, and we're gonna bring it to the main one because it's just larger and it's gonna be easier to read so that we can see all of the ports and all the capabilities that we have with this uh, specific uh, docking station. So again, this is a 13-in-1 USB-C dual display docking station. So we have two displays, including the laptop going. You'll notice that you have three USB uh, ports, 3.0. You also have an audio out, audio in, an SD and micro SD. And for a creator like myself, that is super duper essential. 
On the back, you have an Ethernet port. You also have a display port and an H and a, uh, HDMI, display and HDMI. Those are two outputs, right? Those are coming out and you could use either one of these to be able to come out. Keep in mind, look at how discreet that is right there in the bottom, right? It's a very, very discreet uh, footprint. It just lays there on the side. Um, in the back, you also then have that gigabit Ethernet on the back. You also have two additional, two more, two additional USB 3.0s, right? And then you have your host connection, which is also a charger, 100 watt charger. So that's gonna charge your laptop, uh, whichever device you have connected, that's gonna take care of it right there. And then you have your power input. The whole point about this is that all of these are running through that little hub that's super slim and it is super discreet. All right, so now we're gonna talk about overall performance and, or I'm just gonna show you what the performance is like. So we have three, actually, four videos I'm going to have going on. Two on the top one, one on each side coming from the Mac. I'm going to go ahead and mute the volume because we don't want to hear it, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and run each one of these videos so that you can see how well this docking station uh, performs, right? So we're going to bring it over here. First video starts playing now, and now I'm going to come to the second video, put it to play, put it to the next video to play, and still on the same monitor, and I'm going to keep on going, and now I'm going to come to the third monitor. All right? So, or th third screen in this case. So, all of these are running at the same time. All of these are not having any issues. Um, you see some, uh, some hiccuping on the sides right here. These are just uh, some tools that I have running. So, really focus on the image, on the video itself. And you can see how all these are running super duper smooth. And again, this is the kind of power you're going to get. All right, so now, now this is not coming. So guys, here's another really cool view, and this is what you'd find when I'm not doing videos. This is what you'll see. So again, the power of having uh, this type of docking station giving you access to all these monitors is that I can be on one side running a YouTube video, reviewing it, editing it. On the other side, have some cryptocurrency information coming up on screen. And then on the other side, I can look at you know, some investment opportunities. So this is what you can get in that small, simple box. So guys, that wraps up our review. See you in the next video.